Hi, welcome to the Java Core Learning Course by example. And my name is Chien. Today is the day six. I would like to talk about how to use the inheritance and constructor in Java. Okay, so now let's get started. Open the Eclipse here. Okay, so here I have a main package and I will go ahead to create a glad. And I will name it the inheritance. And I will also create a main method for this class. Okay, click on finish button. So here, inside in horizon class file here, I will go ahead to create create another class, and I will call it either animal. So the animal will be the parent class, and the in horizon class will be inherit everything from the animal. Okay, okay. So I think I will. Name another. I will change the name of this class to to make more clear. Okay. Close this one and delete this. Okay. Cool. So inside here, I will click. I will create another class. Class and name is your animal. Is we using the default, uh, default asset modifier. And I have a curious constructor. Okay, green. Cool. So here for print, I will just print the mess. Print out the message. Uh, hello from um parent contractor. I will create another method here. Right display message. Just return the message. Hello from. Okay, cool. So now here we have third finite creating the, the the parent class name is e animal. And inside this class we have a constructor e animal. It will print out this message say hello from the parent constructor and another method. It is using also using the default asset modifier and the method name is display message and it will this if we go ahead to display the message for hello from display method a parent class. Okay, so now here we go ahead to continue coding on the child class. So here the child class name is inheritance testing. So now here, if you want to inherit inherit everything from the animal class here, so we have to using the extend keyword extend from the animal. Okay, cool. So now here, we we just go ahead to create an instance of the child class. It equal new. Okay. Yeah. So here, after we call this one. We can okay no no sorry here before we calling before we calling the the methods inside from the parent class so I will create an instance of the child class Uh, 
Norman Chai Con Chapter. Okay. Kun. IT. Okay, so here we will run it first. Coming out this one. Yeah, so we have to create an instance of the of the chai class in the main method. Otherwise, it did, it does not display anything. Okay, so after we uh, we run the application and we have an instance of the chai class only created here. So it will display the hello from parent contractor. Here, this one, and hello from chai contractor, and this one. Okay, cool. So now, how to display the message? Uh, display message method from the parent class. Okay, so very easy. IT does display message. Okay, cool. Run. Yeah. So here you can see we have we have another message display in here. It say hello from display message method of parent class. It's called this one. Okay, cool. So here I will give you another example. So for now, we the child class only is inherit her, in her, in her everything from the parent class. So now, if we go ahead to create another class named display message in the child class, and what happened? Okay, so now let's get started. So copy this one, and I will create another one hello from display message method of chai class okay so now after after that when we execute this uh, uh, and run it and run it this application so what happened here okay so basically it should be display the display the message of the chai class in the parent class okay run it here hello from display message method of chai class okay so because uh, we are we are have third create the same method name method name of the of the uh, parent class in the chai class so that means this method will be override override the the method the same method in the parent class so it will display the message of the child class instead of the parent. So in case if we want to display the message of the child as the parent class, so how to do it? Yeah. So in Java, it if support you a uh, keyword is super. So if you want to call the method, which will, which will already operate in the child class, so you should be using the super keyword. Okay, here. Display message here. Okay, so for example, here I will using a super dot display message. And run it. So now it should be display the hello of the display message of child class. And after that, display the hello from the parent class. Yeah, so here you can see the result. It is display the hello message from the child and after that display the message in parent. Okay, cool. So now if you want to, uh, to to display the message of the hello of the hello from the parent first, so you can move this one on the top here. Parent or you can also copy this one and put it inside the contractor of the 
try glad run it yeah okay so i hope this video will have fun for you and after you finish this video you know how to work with the the, the contractor in zara and the override overriding in zara as well and you also know how to inherit everything from the uh, the parent class when you are working in the child class okay so i hope this video will have fun for you let me know if, if you see any issue bye bye and see you later